Happy Halloween and good morning everybody. This is Liz King 1015 2011 with another Minecraft video tutorial. This this tutorial will show you how to create functional redstone lighting for lighthouses. This is being done in creative to save time and you know the lighthouse behind me is a, an example of what we'll be building as using a beacon that way is a little impractical. I'm making lighthouses in Minecraft in different worlds throughout the years in many different shapes and sizes as, as I feel they are absolutely fun to create and I always love finishing them off with proper redstone lighting. However, I notice in other people build lighthouses in their worlds as nice as they make them they use stationary light blocks instead of a rotational functional redstone lighting. Let's move on to these stationary light sources that I mentioned as we go along this road here showing you many basic light lighting styles I have seen used for lighthouses in Minecraft for other people's lighthouses. The first one which we'll get to there in a second um, is basically netherrack that is lit on fire. Personally I just I don't understand why anybody would do this because this is basically very bland and if you're making your lighthouse out of wood and uh, fire spread is turned on, you risk burning down your entire lighthouse. Or even part of it, if part of it's made of wood. It's, it's an old outdated way of having lighting and for lighthouses it's just, it, it feels relatively bland. Personally not something I would recommend to anybody. Because there's, there's just better stationary light sources out there if you're going to use one. Um, the next one which takes care of that issue is the campfire. Personally, I still feel it's a bland choice. Reason being is because um, if you have mobs, they'll still walk through it. They'll get caught on fire, things like that. It's still not a good choice to me. This third one is the sea lantern, which I understand people why people choose it. It looks nice, and it's animated. However, that animation can't be seen unless you're relatively close. Not to mention, sea lanterns are pretty rare. I'm pretty sure you can find better uses for them than a stationary um, light source in a lighthouse. But that's just personal preference. Not, not knocking anybody for utilizing any of these, by the way. I should make that clear now. I mean, everybody has a building preference. Go with it if you feel it's right. Uh, the next one's glowstone. I've seen more lighthouses use glowstone as a stationary light source than any other light any other light source or block, and it's just bland, it's like, ugh, when you see it in a lighthouse. You can one up that with a redstone uh, lamp, however, in this example, it's just always on. It's not, it's not rotating, it's not on or off, it's just on. And once again, it's, it's another stationary light source. Just, eh. Now, if you use the next two here, the lantern and the torch i'm gonna have so many questions on why you're even making a lighthouse because that with these light sources it's just the easiest thing to do not to mention it makes the uh lighthouse look like an eyesore personally i would not use these at all because it's just so basic and boring and like i said i'm just gonna have a lot of questions if i see anybody doing that with their lighthouse in the world as, that, as their top light source now, I've also seen people utilize level 1 beacons as a light source, but then it's not a lighthouse, it becomes a light tower, and then my question is, why aren't you making a fully powered beacon in the bottom and having the beacon shoot to the top to get the maximized results from the beacon? Once again, I understand each player is different, they have their own preference, but it does leave questions if you're trying to make a true legitimate lighthouse. Now, the next the thing I'm going to recommend for when making the the um, the proper redstone lighting is to have one of these chests, which are gonna be, which is gonna have some um, redstone torches, redstone repeaters, and redstone in there. I'd recommend redstone lamps as well. You never know the creepers might explode. Reason being is when you uh, enter and exit a, when you exit and re-enter a world, sometimes the redstone pulses get broken, like stuck on on or off. And you might have to go up and uh, fix that. So always good to have these uh, chests nearby the redstone lamps that are functioning as your moving functional light source. Just, just a fun idea, if you will. 
it'll save you frustration later. Trust me, it saved me. It saves me frustration having these on hand nearby. Now, this first example of creating powered functional redstone lighting in a lighthouse is a very old design. I tested it, it no longer works in the bedrock version of Minecraft. Uh, Java, people playing Java version, you have to check. Basically, it uses powered rail, detector rails, a mine cart, as you've seen there, um, and a piston, which shoves a redstone lamp up to a redstone block. Basically, the way this worked in older versions of Minecraft was this would spin around at a speed where the piston would keep going up and down. And basically, it, it would just work, but it would make a lot of noise. Now, I was just looking at the blocks out there because if you expand those out in the Bedrock Edition, this will do the exact opposite. And it will just spin, it'll spin around way too quickly. Basically, there's no middle point or equilibrium without making the lighthouse look illegit. So yeah, you just, you know, you want to make sure like that's working. And I'm shaking my head because this doesn't work. It's honestly annoying. It would be nice to have that piston go up and down consistently instead of making that a stationary um, light source by having it consistently up. Now this next design, it utilizes eight redstone lamps some redstone dust and uh, four redstone repeaters, which are going, which I'll show in a second here. Once, um, yeah, that's right. Uh, three has a three tick delay on each of those. This is meant for um, if you have a three by three space in the top part of your lighthouse. Let's get this going. This is very basic, yet very efficient. As you can see. And, and it's just so simple. It really is. Uh, if you're if the top of your lighthouse goes out slightly further, you could put four more redstone lamps on it in the bottom of the four corners and expand on the design on the three by three. You'll have it work more efficiently as well this way. Once again, the redstone repeaters are set to a three tick delay. Now I'm gonna show you how this works. Once again, very efficient, very simple. Um, I'll be honest, um, it, if you see it from a distance, it may look like uh, it's an um, air traffic control tower with the redstone repeaters turning on and off. Yes, but like I said, you could expand this to a 4x4 design, and 3x3 if you're using any of a mountain box or instead of odd. Once again, three redstone uh, tick delay and the redstone repeaters. And I will show you how that also works. Let me work out the pulse here. I think that's good. But yeah, once again, very efficient, very easy. Um, I, I still laugh at that from a distance. I guess the only quirk or downside to this is that if, if you utilize these, yeah, the top kind of looks like an air traffic control tower with the, with the things, redstone repeaters turning on and off. Hopefully I'll give you a bit of a chuckle. <laughs> You know, it is funny, but all in all, these three right here, they're very efficient, very easy, and they're meant for most lighthouse builds. And I and I hope it's something that you people utilize as you see this. Um, the next three are for larger scale lighthouses. This first one here I've utilized twice. And um, it's, it's still very basic, it's just meant for a large lighthouse. Three tick the uh, de delay on the redstone repeaters, and I'll show you how this one works. Break that and get it going. There we go. Let's see, it's very simple, very easy. Although this is actually meant to have a double wall, and what I mean by that is, on the outer part of this, there's meant to be glass where on the outer part of where the uh, redstone lamps are, and there's meant to be a wall on the outer part where the uh, smooth stone is. So that's just something to keep in mind if you utilize this type of design. Yeah, once again, very quick, very simple. This next design I've only ever utilized once. The uh, inner redstone repeaters, they are all going to be set to a three tick delay. However, the redstone repeaters hooked up to the redstone lamps that I'm showing you here 
they're all going to be on a one tick delay. Now this is also another nice design and I'm going to activate it to show you how it works. Hit the pulse in there. Break the redstone torch and uh, yep, get it going, zoom out, and look at that. Spin, it actually spins around quite nicely, I have to say, with the uh, redstone lamps being separated like that. And I'm going to zoom overhead so you get a print screen of this if you like, and paste it in Photoshop, Paint, or your favorite program to actually work off of the, uh, the print screen as your reference point if you're going to make this. <laughs> Very fun to watch it. It is. The bigger these things get, the better they are. Um, <laughs> the next one I've only ever utilized once, and if you utilize this, I don't have any questions. If anything, I want to pat you on the back and just say, congratulations, I want to come at your world, and I want to. I actually want to see this in action, because like I said, I've only ever built one lighthouse. It was in my older Xbox 360 world that utilized a system this big. <laughs> It is, it is. It is just amazing. It takes my breath away. And every time I see it, I, I just I, I get excited. I, I honestly do. Because there's a lot going on here. Um, now, these inner redstone repeaters, they're all going to be set to a three-tick delay. Um, now, you notice one talking about the lamps. The, the first redstone lamp, that's not going to have any delay in the redstone repeater. The second one will have a one-tick uh, delay. The third redstone lamp will have a two tick delay and the fourth redstone lamp will have a three tick delay here one let's, let's get this going I, I i love this design yep let's get the redstone pulse in there and look how fluidly that light moves around do the redstone pulse and now we're gonna put the redstone down and now, now see this amazing thing from the outside i mean it is just amazing to look at because that light just moves around very smoothly and fluidly like it is a true lighthouse light <laughs> I, I just can't help it i get excited every time i see this and it, it is just so much fun and yes i put the extra redstone lamps in there by the way this is an overhead view so you can print screen once again if you want to reference the work from pacing it in your favorite um audio pro i meant the audio uh, picture editing program <laughs> sorry about that I'm just getting excited about this. Yes, the extra lamps are added on the floor. It helps show the pulse ground and keep the light in there in case you're on a survival uh, difficulty higher than than peaceful. So, oh, it's just amazing. Oh, man. So, uh... uh this is Lizgate 101.5-2011 with a, another Minecraft tutorial. This one being functional redstone lighting for lighthouses. I hope you enjoy this. Happy Halloween and have a wonderful day, everybody.